Hey, it's the AK Option Trader. Welcome to another edition of Trade Stock Charts at TradeStockCharts.com. Hear my Twitter beep going on. I forgot to turn the tweet deck off, eh? That's alright. Anyway, um, so this is video four in the series. Uh, again, these videos are for beginners, uh, stock traders. I get a lot of questions on my blogs and my tweets about certain terminology or certain things I talk about. Um, and people don't know what they mean so that's what these videos are for to help teach all right so we're gonna go over a couple things today we're gonna go over a uh, uh, shaved head shaved bottom uh, it's not what you think it's not that type of video and we're also gonna go over engulfing candles so let's jump right to it so we can get this over and get you guys back onto trading first of all I want to talk about shaved head shaved bottom shaved head shaved bottom that is a candle that has no top wick or bottom wick okay or bottom tail I should say or shadow all right, so let's look at this one right here. See, there's no there's no tail on this. This is a shaved bottom. Okay, it's a shaved bottom candle. This one has a little bit of a top wick, so it's not shaved. Look at this one. It has a bottom wick. It's got a shaved top. All right. So generally, um, these type of things are generally, and it's not a strong signal, but it is a signal. They they go in the direction that confirms with the direction of the candle. So this is a white candle going up, right? And the top shave. That means from this time on, this pushed up and closed at the highs. Generally a bullish signal, okay? And it did go up for quite a long trend from up in here, okay? So it closed at the highs. Whereas if we can find a, look at, here's a bearish one, right? It's going down, 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 in the middle of a downtrend though, all right? It went all the way down and it closed at the lows. Generally a bearish signal. Um, but in this case it was not so it took off it acted at it as a reversal so if you saw that in the middle of a move it would be the same so look at we're coming up here here's this one here if i delete this circle and i'll bring us back to that circle here here's one here another a bearish signal followed by so we got a uh this is a white candle with a shaved bottom all right but that's not as good of a play or as good a signal as the black candle with the shaved bottom. This is pressure down. This just means it opened here, came up, it reached up, it came back down. All right. This means it closed at the lows of the day, generally bearish. Jumps up and it didn't play. So you're going to need confirmations on those. Okay. So that's what a shaved bottom and a shaved top is. So you know, now you ask what's the point or what? Well, I kind of give you the rundown of it, but what I want to do is let's scroll back here a little bit and okay. This is what I was looking for right here. Let's delete this. This is this is a marabuzu or marabuzu. I don't know how you say it. It's Japanese marabozo, whatever. But it's basically a shaved top, shaved bottom candle. Okay, there's no wick at all. Okay, this would generally be a very bullish signal. You can see, did, was it immediately bullish? No, but it means there's a lot of strong buying. Okay, so if it's shaved on the top and shaved on the bottom, that is a very bullish signal vice versa here this is a black candle shaved on the top and shaved on the bottom that means it opened up here and closed at the lows that's usually a very bearish signal especially at the end of a top an up move like this so that's what we got here this is pretty bearish okay generally now these aren't strong indicators they're just another piece of the puzzle something to watch now we're going to incorporate them with another candle or well not incorporate they're not always going to incorporate but they are a type of candle so um with the engulfing candles okay now engulfing candle is a candle that completely engulfs completely eats the real body of the previous day's candle the the candle we're looking at should be the opposite co color of the previous candle and like most signals it should occur at the end near of a uptrend or a downtrend all right so that's what we're looking for so let's start with one here's one right here all right you see this is a white one with a shaved head right it's got a shaved head so it's pretty strong but it's followed by what we would call a engulfing candle that's what this is this whole body the whole real body of this one engulfs this one generally a bearish signal look at that boom 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 followed suit okay if this was a black candle here this wouldn't be as bearish but it would still be down because it's engulfing you got two black candles in a row so there's a lot of other things coming in play all right, so here's one here. Let's look at this. Now, this is a, engulfs this white candle, right? But it's not the opposite color. But look at the day before. It completely engulfs this candle and completely engulfs this body. This is usually really bullish. If you got a candle that engulfs one or two, three days, there was a lot of strong buying that day, okay? That was a lot of buying. That was a huge, huge range for this 3-com, okay? Went from 295 to 320. 
Sounds a small amount. That's huge percentage-wise. All right. So this engulfed three candles. That is very bullish. Look at that. White candle and did. And it took off. It had a nice up move from there. Okay. Now, was this at the end of an... Or it would have been better down here? Yeah, sure. But you can see it gapped up and it was strong. When you see that, that means uh, consolidation is being taken over by uh, strong conviction. All right. Let's see if we can find a bearish one. I think... Oh, here's a good one. This would be better. Or here's even a better one. Let's pull this over sideways here. I marked them so I can find them easy. Here's a beautiful bearish engulfing. Okay. We had our nice... Uh, uh, hammer down here. Remember we talked about hammers. Got an inverted hammer here for a nice reverse signal. Doji along the way. Got a nice doji reversal coming here. We're saying, uh-oh, something's going on. We better watch this. Followed by a beauty of a uh, bearish engulfing. It's even stronger if it engulfs the whole wicks but and shadows. The wicks and shadows don't matter. It's the body that matters. This is picture perfect. Look what happened after this. Look what happened. Boom, 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 boom. All right. All the way down. You had two up days in this down move. And here's a reversal, our doji, our spinning top right here for our signal of our reversal. Okay? So look at that. Bearish engulfing near the top of a move. That, my friends, is classic. That's what we're looking for. All right, here's a bullish engulfing. But look at it. It's a white candle on white candle. Not as strong. Here's another bullish engulfing. All right, a white candle in front of a black candle. That's a good one. Near the top of a move, though, it'd be better if it's at the bottom of a move. Shave the bottom here. Here's a marubuzu. Marubuzu. I don't know how to say it. Like, a, like I will say Names aren't as important as the identification of them. Anyway, so there's your engulfing. Oh, look at this. Here's a bearish engulfing, but it's near the bottom of a move. So what happens? It bounces off this long-legged doji or dragonfly doji, consolidates before it drops down. So if we saw that up here, after this up move, we'd be saying, all right, if we see a bearish engulfing up here, I'm getting in. And that would probably be a good call, like right here. See this one here? It engulfs this one. That's a beauty right there. And then... Um, Let's see if this with this down move started. If this one started with one, nope, don't see a good one in there. Not a strong one. So not in that move there. But there was probably I guarantee there was other signals. So there's your bearish and bullish engulfing and your shaved heads and shaved bottoms. Oh, here's one. Look at here's a bullish engulfing. You see it's not right in the middle, but this whole real body covers this one. And it did move up for a day before it sold off. Here's another one here where it's barely covering it. It's a bullish engulfing near bottom. This should have been a pretty good buy signal. It did pop, sold off, but it rallied again. All right. So you can see it could be a short move depending on the time of year, depending on how strong the stock is. There's a lot of factors, but it's just another thing to watch for. Here's another great bearish engulfing. Here we go near the top of a move, engulfs this whole real body. Back down, there we go. Anyway, so there's your bearish and bullish engulfing, your marubuzu, and shave heads and shave bottoms. You can find them all over the place now when you look for them. Watch for them. They're pretty strong signals, especially if taken in context, like this one. Look at this bullish engulfing. This is a great signal near the bottom of a move, a gap down, followed by a long-legged candle. Um, pops right up. A little bit of a, what we would call a bull flag here. Pops up from that just like it should. Then look what it's topped with another bullish engulfing, but at the top of move, taken out of context. Anyway, I'm rambling now. So the bullish engulfing, bearish engulfing, shaved head, shaved bottom, marubuzu candles. This was, this was video four in tradestockcharts.com. Trade well and prosper, people.